So this is a very interesting and, and fun subject, which is the subject of traveling, sleep, and what we can do to make their arrival experience more enjoyable. The easiest one to talk about is when you go east. Say, for instance, going from the United States to Europe. This is a, a thing called jet lag, and the circadian rhythm is the scientific term for it. People get misaligned or out of phase. And what happens is, if you think about this in a practical sense, your body's internal time clock is sent to, set to your normal life. We're set to go to sleep approximately 10 o'clock or so for most of us here in the Midwest. When you go east or to a place like Europe, you'll be going to bed about seven hours earlier. Consequently, if you think about what our day's like seven hours earlier than bedtime, we're quite active. And it's the middle of our most active and awake period. So you're out of phase to your new environment. Consequently, you need some encouragement to be able to go to sleep earlier. It takes about one day to move each, each two time zones by your circadian rhythm. So it's gonna take you about two to three days to get back in phase. And a great therapy that's had some effectiveness is melatonin. It's the natural hormone that helps you go to sleep. It spikes up just after you go to sleep normally. So it won't be ready to do that when you're in your new environment. If you take it about 60 to 90 minutes before your bedtime in your new environment, it can be quite effective in helping you get to sleep when you first get to your destination. So. Give a try with melatonin. You can buy it over the counter at the drugstore. It's a natural hormone. can frequently help you get to sleep easier when you're traveling east. Happy traveling.